So today I'm going to show you how to add some investing widgets onto your iOS 14 device. So what we're going to do is load up a phone here in real time so you can see everything happening for us. So as we show you our screen here, you can see on the bottom left hand side, I have a Robinhood widget, which actually shows me how my portfolio is currently doing in real time. Now, the cool thing is Robinhood as well as Acorns and also another company called Public Investing all have the opportunity to add a widget onto your phone so you can see things happening in real time without always having to open up your app. Now, hopefully in the future, additional companies like Webull or M1 Finance also offer this as well. But until then, these are the main companies that are doing that. So if we actually swipe it one more time here on screen, I actually loaded up a couple different options for you before I go ahead and show you how to exactly do this. So you can see here on the top left, we got acorns, a little kind of square. We got that same Robin Hood login. We also have Robin Hood in a longer format as well. So you can see maybe a couple of your stocks as well as at the bottom there, you see public, which is also another investing app. And I can see my current portfolio performance. Now also too, if I swipe one more time, I do also have another setup for Robin Hood where I can see a couple of my stocks all in real time without having to open up the app every single time. Now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and go through this process. So if you are on your iOS device, you can hold down so that way you can all of a sudden kind of get everything all wiggling around and you can hit that plus button on the top left. So here it's going to show you widgets. So the easiest thing you can do is go into search and type in the investing app you have to see if a widget is available. Like we already talked about, Robinhood is one of those widgets. So we can go ahead and start typing in Robinhood and click on the app right there. Now, right over here on this screen, you're going to see that we have a couple different options so we can see how we want to have them looking. So we have the original option like you saw there earlier. We have it where we can see the portfolio all along across. We can see just two stocks right there or we can see a nice little list all together. So whichever one you like, you can go ahead and click on add widget like right here and then bam, it's going to go ahead and add it right there for you. Now you can move it around, of course, on your screen, however you would like, and you can hit done. But the really cool thing is too, especially with the Robin Hood one, which I know is a really popular app, what you can do is also edit what you see on screen. So if I wanted to with this larger one, I can hold it down for a few seconds and then where it says edit widget, I can click on that and I can tell it how I want it to show up. So I can show my stocks or I can show my list if I have like a wish list. Um, I can show uh, the differences with like a light or a dark look and then I can have the display data show the percentage change. So if I click on all of that, it's going to reanimate all of this so that way it looks a little different for me. And then it's going to show me the percentages instead of the last price. So I can see how it changed on a day to day basis just with what I prefer versus what it originally set up. So again, if I go back to the other ones, I can do the same thing here. I can go to edit widget and then I can switch over from dollar value to percentage if I wanted to. And then bam, I can see just the percentage and you can see the little graph up at the top. Some of them don't allow you to do that. Like the public app doesn't allow you to change that. And then the acorns one, it does also allow you to change a couple different little tactics on there based off of what you would prefer to see on the actual widget itself. So hopefully in the near future, we'll have additional companies adding to this opportunity to have these cool widgets so you can see your portfolio all in real time. Now, if you wanna see some of the best investing apps to get started with, check out my video right over here to keep on learning. My name is Dennis and I will see you in that next video.